Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're talking about proper lubrication, whether it's automatic or manual. And there's one guy I know who can pull this off, Joe Conyers. He's with SKF Maintenance Products. Joe, how are you, brother? I'm great, Tom. How are you doing? It is good to have you here. I am fine, and uh, I'm excited because automatic and manual lubrication is so important. Absolutely. You know, it really is. And, uh, you know, when we talk about stuff like this, if you don't do it right, you can get in trouble. Exactly. And uh, we're going to talk about both automatic lubrication and mm -hmm. manual lubrication today. But before you do any type of lubrication, what do we have to do first? PPE. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and um, whether it's glasses or gloves, whatever the yeah. job calls for, we're going to be doing glasses and gloves today. Uh, but your job may call for something different. And always make sure that uh, you are ready to go because safety is always priority number one. All right, Joe, from here, I'm going to let you take over. Are we going to start over this way? Absolutely. We're going to talk about this uh, new grease gun we've got, Tom. It's battery operated, and it's called the TLGB20 110 volt. So uh, this guy's a real beast, Tom. It produces 10,000 PSI, just like all your other hand-operated grease gun, but mm -hmm. now it's battery driven. So again, great for manual lubrication. And right. then we move to automatic lubrication, right? Okay. So automatic lubrication means that you're going to sort of set it and forget it, like the old TV shows, right. right? And there's a number of ways to do that, but we're just going to talk about single point automatic lubrication. You get a single bearing or a single motor or a single pump you might want to lubricate. All right. So there's two flavors of this we're going to talk about. First of all is this unit called the System 24. It's a tried and true unit. It's been out for several years already. And the way this guy works is all you have to do is adjust the knob on the top to the number of months you want it to dispense. We make a half size version of this, which is a two ounce, and this one will deliver up to four ounces. Okay, now wait a minute. For months, so I see a 12 up there. So you can actually go up to 12 months with this, a whole year? Exactly. And wow. the way you'd know is that you turn it to the number of months you want it to dispense, uh -huh. come by a few days later, you'll notice that the little white piston inside has moved down a little bit, indicating you uh, have started the flow kind of grease. Kind of a pressure. To, it creates a pressure in there. And this is a very effective way to lubricate because it's a little bit over a long period of time, as you mentioned, up to a year. Right. So, but what if you have to go longer than a year? Oh, no, my gosh. No, you don't have anything that's two years, do you? Well, surprisingly, you'll say that, Tom, because we do. There we go. I knew we had two years coming. One year. Not one year, but two, two years. years. That's right. Okay, uh, I like this guy. There's a little bit bigger beast than that one right there. Exactly. And what this guy is, the TLMR unit here, and what you got here is a pump unit and a grease cartridge that goes on top. So you can put any types uh, of greases in here, mm -hmm. and now you can have a unit that goes up to two years. That's a uh, long time. It really is. Uh, but it's great for things like motors that have a long service life anyway and yeah. that are in remote spaces or places. Yeah, I was going to say, because because that one is kind of like in and out, but if you do have like a tough area yeah. and you know you got a nice long hose right there, you can go, leave it, set it, and look at it and check on it. You don't have to worry about it and get back into that dangerous place again. Exactly. And as you said, uh, the hose here, we put the short right. hose on today, but we actually have up to a five meter hose, which is about 16 feet. Oh, wow. So you okay. can really get a good stand up distance. Whereas the, the System 24, you've got to be basically within a foot or right on the unit to lubricate it with right. this guy. So you've got some extra flexibility with this guy. Uh, also, you have uh, up to a two year life, as we mentioned. And when it has done with it to your run, all you have to do is either replace the cartridge and the battery pack uh, for another two years of operation. Now, can you just like unscrew that and then screw another one back Screws in? Right is that back what it off, does? Just like that guy right so there. So you just take it off and then it goes yep. back. Oh, that's Put easy enough. On and you're good to go. It doesn't get any so. easier than that, does it? Pretty much, right? So these things are well protected against the environment. In fact, you can actually run the System 24 underwater if you wanted to. It's that well protected. This guy is almost as safe. Uh, you can spray this with water and it's uh, perfect safe. What, what about what about food safe type conditions? Same thing? Yes, we've got uh, different food grade greases you can put into okay. this unit. And also, as well, the System 24. So, so what you have here is two different types of automatic lubrication, one for close on, one for a little bit further away. But what if you need to lubricate chain? Well, the System 24 is actually available uh, with oils in there, and then you can use uh, a brush on the end of this, and now you can lubricate chain as well with it. Wow. So you've got bearings you can lubricate, motors, pumps, gearboxes, anything that's running on grease, and you've got this option to do uh, chain lube as well. So you've got two choices for automatic lubrication, and we figure only about 4% of the places out there are doing automatic lubrication, and there's a lot more that, they, that could be being done with automatic lubrication. Well, I'm going to send them your way. Thanks very much, Tom. Joe, thank you so much. Joe Conyers, he is with SKF, and if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and they will be able to help you out. Also, you know, you can always check out other videos, not just this, but just about anything. Go to mihowto.com. That's where you find them, and you'll find me there as well because I'm the host, Tom Clark. Thanks for watching today.